All right. Is it working? I think it is working. Let me check. Yeah. <clears throat> Good morning and what welcome to a new pre-mark analysis. It's almost 7 a.m. Just before three minutes. And I'm just gonna look at price and see what happens. This is the pre-mark analysis for EU. Um wait. Do I have one for EU and GU? Hold up. I hope I do. Uh, home screen, YouTube logos. No, I don't. That's annoying. I need to make thumbnail for EU and GU. Well, anyway, <clears throat> let's look at EU first. So. Daily wise, we yeah, have previous daily highs here, previous daily lows on DXY. We knew that today's bank holiday in a couple of countries, actually everywhere, almost everywhere, because of Eastern, something like that. I don't know, bro. Don't believe in that shit. That's all to keep you stuck in this matrix. And whether you like it or not, whether you, I hate the word matrix to be fair completely honest i just i think it's a stupid word but essentially it's a system and they keep you in it sorry for my running nose you know why uh, because of the hay fever the pollen energy so four hour wise look at these strange candles we opened a little bit higher than uh then we close over here then we pump down Actually, we opened lower. What? Sorry. Same price in the four hour. Ah, uh, anyway. Wait. No, we did open a little bit lower. Yeah. Because it's a bullish candle. So we opened a little bit lower. Now we came deeper into this um premium pricing which is good because if we want to look for sales this is the ideal area to look for sales and i'm sorry for wait seven sixty yo this one is about to close yeah i was gonna say what the fuck and um yeah, so for sales, it's better if we come a little bit deeper because this lag doesn't hold any internal range liquidity. So, hold up. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm literally, I'm not, I don't have a cold. I'm just, this is just all allergy. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So, uh, as I said, like, it's good to have this, like, move to the downside. We could maybe class as an early seller move, but essentially it's, it's our internal range liquidity. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. <clears throat> And we can also see that we are building up some X, oops, X, external, look, it's way faster than yesterday. That's good. Some external range liquidity over here. Um, With this bearish break, good classes as early sellers, but essentially it's just a nice internal range liquidity that's been built up. Now taken, what can we see above our internal range liquidity? Well, we can see that we have a, Five minute POI over here. We don't use that, I know, but it's good to know that we are above Asia highs. We still got previous daily highs above here. Um, so let's monitor this area for now. Essentially, this is the entire supply area, quite big, and we already reached into the fifty percent of that. So for sales, that would be nice. Now let's look for sales. Um, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to wait another hour for Frankfurt to open. And then I think 
because for now we don't have anything yet and we have slow price action so i don't know yet if i want to participate in the market i have to decide that real soon and uh yeah so for now pre-market analysis my high probability areas are uh, buys below previous daily low below previous weekly low sells from this premium area we are in right now and sells from above previous daily highs now for GU because I'm gonna do them all in once. Um, you can see that we tap into this. Um, did I mark this on the five minute yesterday? Well, essentially we we were moving from this cluster of candles on the fifty minute. We can see that we tapped in. Now we got that continuation as well. So, yeah, we already tapped into the premium pricing of this. Very strange. You can also see just like an EU building up some liquidity to the downside now. Yeah, sorry. Uh, in the form of this trend line. Um so for GU a bit more tricky. I have to get away from the thought of the GU being a bit more tricky because then every time I open GU, I'll be like, oh. This will be hard to read, but it's actually not that hard to read because we tapped into the premium. Um, so we want to look for continuation pricing. You can see this impulse down. If anything, we got some internal range liquidity over here. Now going back to EU, you could say that this is a, that this is our internal range liquidity. But yeah, so might keep that in mind as well. Look for sales maybe above there. There are. I think three minute, yeah, you got like a nice three minute for you got over here. But as we say, we use 15 minute areas, we can just say we have this wick here. We are above internal range liquidity. We are inside a premium pricing of a bearish leg. So that would make sense to sell from above this high. GU, same story. We took out this, um, like, could class as early sellers but essentially took out some internal range liquidity over here however this is formed on the way up not on the way down and that's the same story with uh, eu and ideally internal range liquidity is formed on the way down not on the way up but with the early sellers now it makes sense to class as liquidity now we know that we have asia highs up here sorry i marked it wrong on the uh, eu and we got Asia lows down here. So for EU, quite quite the same story. You want to look for sells over here or sells over here, which is just like EU above previous daily highs. We got some areas over here. If we look, I bet if we look here. You can see this. Um, Actually, it is from this one. Because if you go to the five minute, you can see that. Um, you see that this is the lag that took up this high, switch this high and went down, but we are on the 15. And so we want to just use either this one or I would say just use this one and then go from 50% of that one. So that's one area. And you can already see the second area over here. Uh, so it's just above, oh, we already tapped into that. And that one swept this one and this one. So like this, sweet. Um, those are my 50 minute supply zones so we can come above previous daily highs and then look for sales otherwise i would say well we got a cluster of candles over here as well but oh my nose man i'm sorry we got a 50 minute poi above this one as well so we got one this was essentially the one that broke load this one 
Now, I want to add to that that once we break, we get quite correctional. Uh, no, it's all right. You can see that slow, slow down. People try to buy here. They get taken out Asia. Then the London swing. And then, yeah. So a London swing now would be price to come above here. And then if they turn around, taking that liquidity for EU. Let me mark on Asia high and low correctly. That's my Asia high. And we got Asia low down there. Nice. Nice Asia low. Nice liquidity point. Uh, structure point. So yeah, cells are very valid, but I want to see some some more price action as it's a start week. Um, we need Frankfurt to open. Uh, we need early sellers as well. So for now, it's just sitting on the sideline. You could class this as your early sellers already. Why you get this low? Fine. That leads price to break above this high. Then you got that sell off. So this could be your early sellers. And then price comes up. And now we can see it move down. But then we want to wait, wait a little bit. But yeah. This is what I'm looking at right now, mainly sells. Um, and if we don't get a sell setup, then I will look for buys below the liquidity. That's it, guys. Good luck.